there, learners. Today we're going to be doing something called three-act math. It's where we watch a video and think about math in the real world. Ready? Let's watch the first video together. What kind of situation was shown in the video? You can say the video showed. Do you think it was a more, like adding more addition situation? A subtraction situation where you took some away or both? You can say, I think it was. What makes you think that? You can say, I think that because Yeah, I think it's both. There were some apple slices in the fruit salad bowl. The boy picked out all the apples. He must like apples and ate them. So that was kind of like subtraction. There were a lot of apple slices and then he ate some and there were less. But then his dad came and put more apple slices in the bowl. So then there were not that many. We added more and then we had more. So we subtract it and then we add interesting. Okay, now here's the question we're going to work on. How many apple slices are in the bowl at the end? What information are you going to need to solve that problem? You can say, I need to know. Yeah, you might want to know how many apple slices there were in the very beginning. And then how many apple slices the boy ate, how many got taken away. And then how many apple slices got added back in? That would help you figure out how many are in the bowl in the end. How could we find that information? Yeah, maybe we could count as we watch the video. Is there a way that we could use math to model this? Maybe we could draw like a picture of all the apple slices or keep tallies, like draw a line every time there's an apple slice and cross them out when they get eaten. Interesting. Let's watch the next part of the video. That's what was in the bowl in the beginning. Let's count the apple slices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could you model that on your whiteboard? Let's model that on our whiteboard. Do it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven apple slices in the bowl. Now let's see. This says five slices were eaten. As the boy was doing his homework, he ate five slices. What should I do to my picture? There were seven.
that's right, I should cross out five slices to show the five that were eaten. One, two, three, four, five. So after the boy ate, there were only two left in the bowl. But then the dad comes and he adds more. Here he is with the chopper. Interesting. The video told us that after the dad added, there were 10 in the bowl. We had two when the dad came, and then we added some. I don't know how many. And now there are 10. How many more did we have to add? Let's do this with a picture. I'm going to draw it in a different color so it's clear. If you don't have a different color, that's okay. You can draw it in the same color. So we have the two apple slices that are already left over. The boy ate this many, but these two are still left in the bowl. But these two are still left in the bowl. One, two. Now, how many more apple slices do we have to add to get to 10? Well, we have one, two. What if we add another one? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now we have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now these two are already there. These two are represented with that number two, which means that we need to add these in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two plus eight equals 10. We can double check that with our fingers. Look, we have two, but we wanna to get to 10 fingers. How many more fingers do we need to put up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We had two. We put up eight more fingers, and now we have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we know that there were seven in the bowl to start. So now we know that there were seven in the bowl to start. And then the boy ate five minus five. And then we were left with only two in the bowl. And then we can write another equation. There were two in the bowl. And then the dad came and he, and he added eight more plus eight equals 10 in all. At the very end of the video, there are 10 apple slices in the bowl. Here's the challenge. If the boy eats the same number of apple slices again, if he eats five apple slices again, how many will be left in the bowl? This is your homework. See if you can figure out how many will be left in the bowl. If the boy eats the same number again, how many will be left in the bowl? Remember that there are 10. Remember that there are 10 apple slices now, and he's going to eat five again. And I need you to figure out how many are going to be left after the boy eats five more. Pause now to do your math homework. Pause ahora para hacer tu tarea de matemáticas. Think about the math video we just watched. Remember, you can rewind it and watch it again if you need to. What will happen if the boy eats the same number of apple slices again? How many apple slices will be left in the bowl? Draw a picture and write a number sentence to show your work. 
Hint: There are ten in the bowl now, and he ate five apple slices the first time. Piensa en el video de matemáticas que acabamos de ver. ¿Qué pasará si el niño vuelve a comer la misma cantidad de rodajas de manzana? ¿Cómo se pueden aplicar las rodajas que quedan en el bol? Piensa en el video de matemáticas que acabamos de ver. ¿Qué pasará si el niño vuelve a comer la misma cantidad de rodajas de manzana? ¿Cuántas rodajas de manzana quedarán en el tazón? Haz un dibujo y escribe una oración numérica para mostrar tu trabajo. Sugerencia: Ahora hay diez en el tazón y se comió cinco rodajas de manzana. La primera vez. Hello, Room 109 Minions. It's so great to see you again. I have one more math problem and I need your help again. It's subtraction. And this one is 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2. So 7 take away 2. I forget the answer. Is it Hmm. Is it zero? Is seven take away two zero? Or is seven take away two one? Is seven take away two one? Or is seven take away two five? I'm not really sure. I forget how to do my subtraction. Can you please help me, Room 109 Minions, and please tell me the answer by talking right at your screen and say, Mr. Minion, seven take away two is how many? I just don't remember. You must tell me how to do it. If you know your subtraction, you can help me. Thank you, Room 109 Minions. See you again soon. Bye. Goodness, my silly dad. He forgot seven minus two. Does he need to go back to second grade? To first grade? To kindergarten? Hopefully you can 